because I don't like you no more. There's nothing between us. The only time I liked it was when you suck him up. <laughs> Son of God, I'm a sob like a wet log. Boys never get clogs. It's all full of self-esteem that I sweat for. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking, bro. I'm spazzed. That's crazy. I went from giving it to Buster twice to I'm pretty much smoked Buster, dog. You could never say to me I'm not a fucking record breaker. I sound like a broken record every time I break a record. Nobody could ever take away the legacy I made. I never can. You could never say to me I'm not a fucking record breaker. I sound, sound like, like a broken, broken record, record every, every time, time I break a record. I am. I am, bro. <laughs> What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to get on one of these things. You feel me? What's going with the watch? Night watch, man. Uh, merch shop, StevieKnight.com for the drip. All my links for all my ish. Description box below. You know what I'm saying? Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. It'd be very much appreciated. I'm just here for the race bait and hate. Dr. Umar. Out here firing off at uh, Eminem. Look like, say, Dr. Umar goes off on rappers. For defending Eminem, so it seemed like he doubled down in, on uh, uh, his stance he took a few weeks ago. Talking about Eminem could never be the greatest because hip-hop is black. How can we have a white man be the best at something that came from blackness? <laughs> right, but you punch holes all through this motherfucker, bro. Like, what up? I'd be curious if he really be believing this shit he be saying sometimes, dog. I know it's a business, bro. You know what I'm saying? You really believe that? Sh you believe all this bullshit that come out your mouth or is it just for the bag? I, 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 I'm thinking the latter. You know what I'm talking about? And then, you know, a white man could never. <laughs> a white man could never say the things Dr. Umar is saying as a black man, bro. If you feel me? It's, just, it's interesting, bro. Um, let's dig in. But I want to ask you, right? Because you made some comments about him, and you got a lot of backlash for that, man. Uh, how did you feel doing? when you was getting all that backlash for the comments you made about him? He Eminem? loves it. You know, the Eminem controversy caught me by surprise because I didn't know that my position, like so many other positions that I have, would be considered controversial. I was doing a podcast interview. The topic came up. I think it was Joe Button who suggested Eminem may be one of the greatest. And I said he could never be considered the GOAT. If you want to say he's one of the greatest, make that argument. But you will not call him the GOAT of a black cultural icon, of a black cultural product. You're not doing that. Our culture is our culture. We don't share it. If y'all want to give people privilege to participate, <laughs> then they have participation <laughs> privilege. But you cannot you give it even a participation trophy. <laughs> oh, this shit funny, bro. This shit funny, dog. You know what I'm saying? You guys just laugh at this bullshit, bro. This motherfucker here, bro. He does it every time. Then they have participation <laughs> privilege. But you cannot be the face of something my people made. This is not only true for me. This is true for most groups. But because black people suffer from post-traumatic slavery disease and we crave white validation more than oxygen, Oof. we are always looking to anoint some non-African as the face of something African people created. Bruh, I would, would you hit him with the Michael Jordan argument, though? Hit him with that shit, bro. Hit him with the Michael Jordan argument, dog. Like, shut the fuck up. It don't matter what color you is, bro. Skill ain't got no color, fam. <laughs> Skill ain't got no color, dog. And then, whatever. Let's continue, bro. I'm just here for the fuckery, dog. Let's get it. So when I said Eminem cannot be the GOAT, I never said he couldn't rap. I never said he didn't have talent. I simply said he can't be the GOAT. No more than DJ Khaled could ever be considered the GOAT as a DJ or producer because you are not African. Because he's trash. So Fuck you mean. a lot of hip hop artists took offense. They came out of the woodworks with their unlicensed law degrees. <laughs> and served as Eminem's expert lawyer and publicist 
to the black world. And this cuz cuz ain't got no hip hop degree at all, but you can know this motherfucker don't know shit about nothing. Musically, hip hop wise, to be saying what the fuck you saying, bro. Goat is not cultural. I be trying to stop myself from digging in the argument because the argument is, is so flawed. I just can't help it, bro. It's just so ludicrous, dog. It's like the perfect shit to to. It's a business, dog. He know he know how to pull that. He know how to put that shit out there to get the people going. This motherfucker know what the hell he doing. This whole race baiting ass motherfucker, dog. And they defended that man better than Johnny Cochran defended O.J. Simpson. You goddamn right. And basically told me Fuck I off. have no right to speak on the topic at all because I am not a rapper, Negro. I don't have to be a drug dealer to speak on drug dealing. I don't have to be a surgeon to speak on the racism that you blacks absolutely suffer do. in the medical industry. You, and absolutely, I don't have to be you absolutely do, given this situation, bro. If you come out here talking that bullshit, saying Eminem cannot be considered the GOAT, bro. You need to be hip-hop affiliated for motherfuckers to take you serious, right? But being that you are who you are and you're at the top of the mountaintop, you know, he's probably the most known for, like, the race bait and shit. And this is just race driven people gonna fire back at your ass dog because they because this is what you do you get paid to do this shit you get paid to rock the boat you feel me and that's just a, a gaping hole no diddy to attack the fact that bitch you're not hip-hop bro you ain't hip-hop dog you, you don't know nothing about this bro you just see color bro it's just a uh it's a monetary pocket to hit for you fam that's all that is that's all that is rapper to speak on rap music but as an african who grew up in hip-hop as an african who partakes in hip-hop as an african who is a safeguarder of all african culture i will speak on anything my people create and anything my people are affected by and i'm just disappointed brother because just like we talked about Snow Bunny Barkley and Snow Bunny Shannon and LeBron James earlier defending Caitlin Clark we saw the same thing happen with these so-called gangster rappers who took Eminem's defense against your good brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. And you know what bothered me the most about all of these rappers defending Eminem without him even asking them to, without him even hip -hop. paying for them to do it? It's what they're defending hip hop, right? Defending Eminem too, because he's very deserving of it of the defending that they're doing because he's done so much for hip-hop bro but they're defending hip-hop trying to keep hip-hop pure respected recognized dog you have to defend eminem for what he's put in the game bro you know what i mean it's it's debatable i don't even think it's debatable bro it's not debatable bro eminem has had the most difficult journey rising to the top initially ain't no debate about that bro because of race they wouldn't let him in but because of race he at the top now you got, you know, anyway. They did me the most about it, Art. I've never seen any of them defend black women the same way. <laughs> Here we go. Now, <laughs> one of these rappers who defended Eminem against me, i never seen a single one of them defend <laughs> black women as ferociously as they defended Eminem. Ooh, bruh. What did I say earlier? Bruh. Politically effeminate. Get the I fuck out the of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here, dog. One ain't got nothing to do with the other, bro. What you mean? <laughs> Oh, he good, bro. He good, dog. You motherfucker, dog. <laughs> are politically effeminate. Our basketball players, NFL players, politically effeminate. Whenever it comes to holding white people responsible for appropriating black culture, here comes the gangster rappers to defend their white Jesus. Here comes the basketball players to defend their white Jesus. It's absolutely insane. Black celebrities never defend us. They never defend black America, but whenever white folks are offended by black people. The only reason why race is even a factor in this conversation is because Umar's talking about it, right? You take Umar out of this and all these other race baiting snowflakes and shit, and people just live in irrationality, bro. Eminem is not being defended because he's white. It has nothing to do with him being white. It's because he's fire, right? Caitlin Clark is not being defended because she's white. It's because Caitlin Clark is Caitlin Clark, bro. She's fire, bro. I mean, when you minimize everything down to race, the only reason why race is being brought up in this conversation is because Umar is talking about it, bro. Race baiting, right? Trying to get the motherfuckers going. You know what I'm talking about? 
only reason why racism is as polarizing as it is right now is because social media and shit like this, where you got people capitalizing off of the sensitivity of folk. All right, which is interesting, though. Like, none of this shit got anything to do with race. It's all about skill level, merit. You feel me? But <laughs> since Umar is in it, we, we somehow went from Eminem uh, not being a goat because he's white to, y'all don't defend the black women like this. Black people don't defend black people, bro. Um, I guess y'all forgot about George Floyd. I guess y'all forgot about Trayvon. The list goes on, bro. Black black folks don't defend black folks? Bitch, what? <laughs> black folks will die on the sword, motherfucker. What are you talking about, buddy? You know? That's what he does. Race baby. They're the first people to pop up. I'll take you to DJ Vlad. Culture vulture. DJ Vlad. Culture vulture DJ Vlad, after that interview I did with Joe Button. Culture vulture DJ Vlad brought all these rappers on his platform and celebrities. And he asked everybody. Do you agree with Dr. Umar? He said, Why Eminem wouldn't he, bro? It was a never viral moment. be the goat of hip hop. And I think 99%, if not 100%, of these celebrity black men defended Eminem and reinforced the integrationist colorblind narrative <laughs> that anybody can be a goat of hip hop. Hip hop is for everybody. It is. Do you know we the only people who claim such things? You can't go into somebody else's culture and, and hear them say, we invented this for us. But anybody can steal it, use it, exploit it, misappropriate it, and we won't have a problem with it. Only when it comes to black people can you come in, exploit, appropriate, take advantage of something we made for us, and everybody's supposed to be okay with it. And on that note, of culture vulture he DJ said, Black. He dying on it, bro. Like he, he dying on that shield, bro. But get that bag, dog. Get that bag, bro. You you are standing on business for real, bro. <laughs> Ten toes down in the bullshit, bro. Get that check, dog. Create. Take advantage of something we made for <laughs> us, and everybody's supposed to be okay with it. And on that note of culture vulture DJ Vlad, he got checked recently. Because there was a conversation about the Drake Kendrick Lamar beef. The Drake Kendrick Lamar beef. It was a Twitter conversation going on. And a black female professor from Princeton, whose name I am forgetting, she checked Coach of Vulture DJ Vlad and she said, I remember this. You're white. This is a black conversation. Stay out of it. Those are not her exact words. I'm paraphrasing. Nah, it was some. It was something like it was. I think Vlad said he didn't like how "not like us" sounded. Like, let me see if I can find that fucking thread. On Saturday, May fourth, the internet was in uproar over K Dot's back-to-back -back response to Drake and the ongoing rap beef. When yeah, K Dot dropped "Not Like Us," and Vlad said he didn't. He said uh, Vlad said Vlad commented, said he wasn't a fan of uh, "Not Like Us" tweeting that it needed a better mix. It takes away from the song, right? I'm not a, I'm not even a Vlad fan, though, but like, everybody's entitled to their opinion, bro. You know what I mean? Everyone's listening to that shit, dog. H how much do you think white folk had to do with not like us being top of the billboards? But uh, any, but regardless, it ain't, it ain't even that fucking deep. Everyone is entitled to an opinion. Everybody has access to social media and you can say what the fuck you want bro and there's nothing wrong with the fuck you said dog everybody don't like that song right and all shawty said you are white this is a black folk affair come on dog come on bro that's it's racism but of course umar are gonna tap into this shit bro but yeah after this vlad went and like uh attached her her profession to it Trying to get her fired from her fucking job when it ain't that goddamn deep, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can say what the fuck you say, but there's nothing goddamn worthy of her being removed as a fucking professor. But uh, what she said was whack. It's just that Vlad went crazy with it. And he apologized after the fact. Basically told him, this is a black conversation. You white, stay out of it. Vlad, with all of his white privilege, took offense to that. And he responded to her by including Princeton University in the tweet. Yeah, so was he was basically 
bringing it to the attention of Princeton University that one of your black professors is telling me I don't have the right to participate in this private black conversation regarding this beef between these two rappers. Now, to be honest, he did apologize later. But of course he's going to do that because you have no right exploiting black culture and at the same time trying to get one of our black women fired. But guess what? When Vlad threatened to get that woman's job taken, when he threatened to make it known to her employer, Princeton University, that she told him he couldn't participate in that conversation on the Drake Kendrick beef, I didn't see a single rapper come to that sister's aid. I didn't see a single one of those Man, celebrities right, okay. who get. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it, bro. <laughs> I'm over it, dog. All right, you, you on the reason? You on some recent shit? It, it ain't that goddamn important, bro. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that goddamn important, dog. Like, who the fuck is she? She ain't nobody. She out here saying some toxic shit, bro. Most folk are not going back with the fuck she said, dog. This is a black affair. You know what I'm saying? It's an A and B conversation. See your way out of it because you're white, bro. That's some, some racist ass rhetoric, bro. Most are not going back that, dog. But much more not going back the fact that Bly went to her job trying to get her fired when it was just a little spat between two people on social media, bro. Like, the fact that he went trying to get her fired for saying shit like that, that was whack as fuck, dog. That was whack as fuck. But it ain't it ain't that fucking serious, bro. And then he's saying it, bro. But I, if I, I'd be willing to bet that there was some people in these goddamn comments trying to call Vlad out on some bullshit. You know what I mean? But, um, damn, Vlad, uh, Umar does a good job, bro. This motherfucker's a professional race baiter, dog. All right, professional race baiter, bro. Could you imagine how the world would be if all black folk took on this mentality? Segregation, racism, hierarchy, black superiority and shit. When we trying to get to, I mean, we're here. We're here. <laughs> we're at the best position of equality we've ever been at. Only thing that makes it blurry is because of social media but all that shit is fucking fake hence why umar has a goddamn job because he's exploiting the bullshit he's really the fucking demon in this motherfucker really want to talk about it dog he really the goddamn demon stirring the motherfucking pot trying to get paid off motherfuckers emotions right but could you imagine how the world would be if all black folks took on the mentality of a dr umar bro you can't do certain things or say certain things or wear certain things or participate in certain things because of the color of your skin don't that shit sound familiar <laughs> don't that shit sound familiar bro you try to got them just reverse jim crow put the white folks in the back of the bus now <laughs> yeah you know i mean but anyway uh good old dr umar bro Good old Dr. Umar.